Right, welcome to this tutorial on a Remember Me style login script. Um, we're going to be dealing with cookies in this as well, so we're going to be setting cookies for the user um, once they log in successfully. We're running this from a database, um, so here's the database all set up. I've already got my entry in for my username and password, which is MD5 encrypted, so we're using a bit of security here. Um, We've got a login page, um, quite a bit of code here, but when it all falls together, you'll see that actually it's quite simple. We've got a user area once the user is logged in, and this uses a function here called logged in, which is present in this functions.php um, script here. And basically, what this does is it checks for um, a cookie or a session, so whether the user wants to be remembered or not, we're going to be. Um, determining if we're using sessions or cookies and then we have a simple logout script which is going to either um, destroy a session or unset a cookie um, I know it says set cookie but this is how we're unsetting cookies uh, if you don't know um, about cookies then I have a tutorial otherwise just follow this through and you'll get the hang of them straight away um, so this is more or less our uh, our page we've got a remember me checkbox here um, let's say I'm going to type in Alex and a completely wrong password, click login. You'll see that a username password combination is incorrect. Um, if we type the um, correct password, which is 123, um, we can click login. And then we say we're, we're in the user area. And what I've also done is um, if I come up here and go back to the login page, press enter, that will automatically redirect us back to the user area. Um, and then what we can do is we can log out. And then again, if we go to the user area here, um, you'll see that that will automatically redirect us back to the login page um, so the user can't access that area. And that's all basically using um, that, that handy little function I showed you there. Um, we're obviously connecting to a database, so you'll get to grips with more database techniques um, if you are a bit unsure of them already. And a bit of security in here, we're obviously we're using MD5 encryption, but what we're also doing is structuring this so um, SQL injection is um, probably not impossible, but slightly harder to achieve. Okay, so um, this has been the first part, a little introduction. In the second part, we're going to be uh, starting out with the coding, designing our form, and then processing the login through the database. So I'll see you in the second part.